Hello, I'm Jussi from Wheel, the lead guitar player, and we're here in Chicago on our Charismatic Leaders tour. And uh, yeah, that's our new album. Go and check it out. Charismatic Leaders, uh, really nice new music. And uh, you guys are here to check out my gear. There's my pedal board. Uh, here's my amp and the cabin cabinet and uh, my guitars. Here's my pressures. Tools. These are both both made from Jarno Salo, a Finnish luthier. Lives really near near me, in, uh, or he has a he has a um, uh, workshop in Järvenpä near Helsinki, and uh, he's a really talented guy. This is kind of a mixture of Telecaster and uh, Gibson Firebird. And basically, this is uh, PAF. Humbuckers, these, these are also made from Jarno. Jarno, so they are kind of custom made, but but it's kind of low output stuff. Mainly I'm using the uh, the bridge pickup, but I also have a lot of a lot of stuff going on here in a, on a neck pickup. And uh, some of things I, I also do like this is uh, this splits the coil flow, so I get a kind of a single coil sound there too and I have the same thing in both guitars these are basically identical but I'm gonna show the differences from the other one I usually use my tone knobs uh, actually this has only one tone knob. yeah this is kind of master tone I usually have it full but so sometimes when I need a little bit of a darker tone and I, I dial it a little bit down but and this one is just a, a kill switch it looks like a pot, but it's kind of dead pot, but it has the kill switch thing going on. Basic uh, switch for the um, pickups. The strings I'm using is the Dario 11, uh, 11 to 50, but then I uh, I, I use as the, the, the thickest string is like a 56. And yeah, yeah, that's the Dario. And uh, tuning is low C and the rest of it is uh, it's like drop D so this is low C uh, G A, C F A and uh, D strings that's pretty much how this is I'm gonna show you the other one it's basically the same but with with a little bit differences here you go it also has the kill switch here tone volumes but it has the Bixby Bixby tailpiece and it's semi-hollow, but otherwise it's it's pretty much the same. And this is my main guitar on this tour. This is what I've been mainly playing. Yeah, that's that's about the guitars. Then we move into the amp amp section. This is a Victory Travel amp, uh, Kraken. I think it's 40 to 50 watts. I'm I'm not pretty sure about the output, but it's it's. Let's say it's loud enough for, for basically anything. Uh, I use the both channels. First channel is dialed like a, it, it's almost clean. It has a little bit, little bit hair in it, but, but yeah. And the channel two is, is uh, more distorted. That's how it's dialed. Uh, I have the, uh, there, there's a back of the amp, there's a like a bass focus dial or whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's pressed down, so it's, it's a little bit tighter in there low end. It's really easy to use and, and simple so it's it's all you can see here that's that's a that's a amp basically. Then we have the Victory cab caps. Uh, they are two times two, uh, two times 12 inch speakers which uh, I think it's Celestion uh, vintage 30s in it. So it, that's also pretty basic like hard rock or Heavy, heavy metal stuff. Uh, we use we both James also uses uh, two by two by twelve on this tour because we had a little issues with the fitting everything in in the <laughs> bus. But but yeah, for practical reasons two by twelves. But 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 I also also prefer two by twelves myself uh, when playing in Europe and in any case. I'm not hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent sure how the chain goes, but I'm. Uh, this is at least this is the first first one on the chain. It's the tuner, uh, and it it tunes the guitar. 
Yeah, then, uh, then here, uh, I think this is the first on the chain. It's the wall pedal and it's also an expression pedal. And you could use it also as a volume pedal, but I'm not using that volume, volume pedal thing here. All, only expression for this because this has kind of filter that I can adjust it with the with the expression and, and when I press it on it's, it becomes a wah pedal. Then we have whammy. I think it's before the distortion pedals. Uh, I use the octave down, octave up and the, you know, also the dry signal goes through so I can I can switch it between the octave up, down and octave up easily and then I use the basic basic like octave thing. That's only those two settings I use on that one. Uh, I think here it goes somewhere in, uh, I think the compressor is first. It's the exotic SP compressor. It's I, I use it uh, basically only on the clean clean sounds just to even it a bit and give, give it a little bit more brightness and, and, and that teaching. Uh, Tonus is basically it does the same. Uh, the gain is basically off there, and I, I I give it a little push with the uh, for the treble. Then here's a, I think this is jam pedals. It's basically there like a tube screamer. Tube de dreamer is this called? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I just boost the the distortion channel with it to, to get a little bit more mid range and. More punch for the for some of the lead stuff. This pedal is really interesting. It's uh, Kangra. It's kind of fuzz pedal and filter pedal. Uh, on this tour, we're not I'm not using the filter thing, but I do it in in previous in the in the mid section when there when there's a like I put the filter down and I'm kind of play playing alone and opening it you know, uh, slowly. But in uh, Empire, I use this this as on uh, on verses, the the congra pedal. It's it's really really aggressive and uh, punchy, fuzz sound. Then I have the octave fuzz, which I use in in few of the solos uh, and lead parts. It's kind of basic basic Jimi Hendrix style octave fuzz, and uh, it gives that nice nice. Uh, Little dirty, dirty octave up uh, above the signal. Uh, fast factor is here. I don't, I'm not using it in, on this this tour, but it's it's a really wild pedal. Pedal. Uh, maybe not. I'm not gonna tell about it more because it, I haven't used it a lot. But it's it's here on the board for the for the becoming tours and becoming uh, recordings. Uh, here's the M1. This is. Uh, Walrus audio, like uh, it has a lot of different uh, delay, uh, uh, like time-based, uh, like chorus, chorus, flanger, uh, phaser, that that stuff, like mod modulation effects. I'm using vibrato and, and phaser mainly, and uh, this Keely tri mod is for the choruses, and this this stuff here is in the in the effects loop. So I have all the, also the chorus pedal in the FX loop. Then I have a solo boost here in the FX loop. Delay, which is Walrus Audio ARP87. Uh, nice tap tempo stuff and, and uh, I'm basically using the analog, analog setting on it. And then I have this Hydra pedal, which is reverb and tremolo. And uh, this expression pedal I use for uh, adjusting the uh, the length of the reverbs or uh, the the kind of uh, rate of the uh, tremolo. We're all, all uh, using like uh, in-ear monitors, and uh, well, this is my mic setup. Of course, I have uh, 57, which is pretty much the standard, and and then I have the AKG uh, D4, I think it's that. For for a uh, because if we wanna widen widen it on, or or I don't know what the mixing guy is really doing with it, but he's he's mixing those two two mics together. 
uh, picks that I use are are like Dunlop uh, flow picks, uh, 1.5 millimeters I think, or, or uh, yeah, and only them. I like them. They are nice and uh, firm. Hey, so thanks for watching. This was Marik, and go go to Spotify or or whatever streaming platform to check out our new album Charismatic Leaders and. Uh, See you on the gigs and good luck.